guys welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to show you how I lay my newest wig if you are curious on how I got this color I will leave the link to the video down below in the description box or up in the cards so um, you guys know how I lay my wigs but I'm always trying to find new techniques to make them as natural as possible and this by far is the best wig I have made um, since I've been making wigs. And it's all thanks to Laresia Andrea here on YouTube. She is a magnificent wig maker and she breaks it down to where it's super easy to follow her techniques. So she has a couple of videos on how to customize your lace closure or frontal, like how to make the hairline look super natural. And she also has a video on how to lay your lace closures or frontals. So I'm basically going to be following her steps in this video. So first I cleaned off my forehead in the area where my front or where my closure is gonna lay. This is a seven by seven closure from Barry's hair. And then once the alcohol is dry, I just lift the lace and spray my got to be glued freezing spray in the section where the lace closure is going to lay. And then I take my hair dryer on the cool setting and dry it until it gets tacky. And I do this about two times. And the reason you want to wait for it to get tacky before you add more is because it will never dry if you put too much on right away. So definitely do it in layers and the reason I spray the got to be glued underneath the lace is because if you spray it directly on top of the lace some of it will get on the hair inevitably and it'll make your edges look really hard and I'm not into that hard um, edge look so I find that this way it works a lot better first spraying the got to be glued underneath the lace and then laying the lace down and just putting a very small amount of hairspray on the top of the lace so you guys will see that as the um, video goes on so here I am I have put the lace back down and now I'm combing back the baby hairs and applying a small amount of got to be glued just around the hairline to make sure that that lace is really adhered to my skin. And the reason I am pushing back my baby hairs is because I don't want any of them to be in the way when I start to cut my lace. So I am using my rat tail comb to press the lace into my skin while I blow dry on the cool setting. So after your got to be glued is completely dry, you start cutting the lace. And you want to use a eyebrow razor. You can get these at any beauty supply store or off Amazon. And you just lift the lace all the way up to where the hair starts. And you use that little razor to cut the hairline. I used to use scissors, serrated scissors, but I find that this method is a lot better because you can get really close to the hairline um, in different parts instead of just like cutting the lace right across and do be careful with these razors because they are very sharp and I did cut myself a little bit when I was doing this but um, that's the lace that I cut off and as you can see there's still a little bit more right next to the hairline coming down a little too far so I just lift it up and cut it off with the razor. It's super simple. This entire process only took me 30 minutes and um, I'm, I'm in love I'm in love with this technique. Like this wig looks hella good. Hella good. And then to lay my baby hairs I use my Jane Carter style and wrap foam. And then after I lay them down, I just put a small amount of got to be glued on them just to make sure once again that they are down there and going to, they're not going to move. I don't want anything to move, especially if I plan on wearing my lace for a long time. So I just zoomed you in on the hairline so you can see what it's looking like. Now if you really want to get that lace melted, you can wrap your edges with a satin scarf for about 20 minutes. I didn't have time in this video, um, so I just dry my edges with the blow dryer until it's completely dry. But when I do sleep in my wigs, I make sure to wrap my edges because I don't want my wig to slide back and cause any skin irritation. 
So, uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. All right. All right, well, that's it for this video. I'm sorry if it was really long, but obviously I wanted to show you everything that I've been doing to lay my wigs. And like I said, I have to say, this is one of the better ones. Um, I like my wigs to, I like to make sure that my wigs are as natural as possible. I want people to be like, oh, you change up your hair so much, it looks so good. And I wanna be able to say, thank you, you know? I don't wanna be like, oh, your wig looks nice. Like, a lot of people know I wear wigs because I do wear my natural hair out, but I want someone to say like, ooh, girl, if I didn't know, if I didn't know, I'd say that was yours, you know, kind of thing, so. I'm really loving this color um, and all that jazz. Like I said, I think I'm gonna change up my hair companies though because the Nadula hair doesn't get as bright as this hair does. And I am really loving the Barry's hair closure, so I might just have to switch to their bundles too. We'll see. Either way, guys, if you like this video, then please give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And I don't know if I mentioned it in a older video, but this eye is still watering. I'm still on my um, antibiotics because I did have a infection in it. It's still watering like mad, but hopefully it will stop soon so I can get some real content out. But until then, I'm just gonna be um, coming to you guys with this hair stuff. So I hope you guys are enjoying that and I will see you in the next one.